Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Wednesday, 22 Jan. Surprising overnight uh, price action, I have to say. Let's let's take a look at this ES chart. Uh, we closed at 19 last night, straight up to the 36.50 high. Um, when was that? 3 a.m. Not sure what drove it, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, we got kicked out of um, our shorts at 33.33, as we talked about yesterday. No drama. Um, surprised, but no drama. So we move on um, and see what we've got today. Today looks like it's going to be a dollar Canada or a Canada-centric day. We don't have much data out in Europe this morning. In fact, we really have nothing of, of note out. We do have inflation uh, data out in South Africa, so let's look at that first and foremost. Um, with this new risk on uh, feel to the market, dollar rand is at its lows. We dogeed yesterday. Um, after printing 1460, which is the 200-day moving average, uh, for those of you, it, for those of you who follow these things, 1459.86. So 1460 is the 200. Stop there. Indecision. Um, she looks like she wants lower now. It's hard to, you know, it's hard to trade um, South African inflation because it's emerging market. Inflation is typically bad. Um, versus uh, bad for the currency, whereas you know in the Western world inflation is good for the currency. Um, so it's a tough one to trade. We don't really have a dog in this fight here. Um, we cut longs back at 50 yesterday, so we were we were long going into yesterday. We were trading around 52, 56. Then the move back through 50, we cut. Um, not really sure. She looks like she wants to go lower, um, but I'm never really too comfortable buying Czar. So I'll leave that to um, leave that to the purists. Uh, if you want to go short dollar Czar, 1445 um, looks like your your launch point, your stop. Um, has to be back above 50, so you got five handles to um, to risk there. Seems a bit uh, seems a bit risky to me, even though we are risk on today, and stocks did uh, jump 15 handles. Just seems like there's a lot of uh, risk off floating around in the background. So um, I don't know. Sell dollars are at your peril, but. It does look like she wants to go down. Let's jump onto this CAD. Um, we talked about this 13080 level. We got we got CAD inflation and um, CAD rates today. So this is this is an important day in in, um, important day for the loony. 13080 is one, two, three, four, uh, four, four daily highs there. Uh, we broke through it last night up to 90. Now we're back at 81. Tough to really um, load up on any kind of CAD position now, um, and so you just kind of have to be patient, get some scenarios in your head. Um, inflation at 2:30 Swiss time is going to move things, and then of course the BOC at four o'clock also going to move things. Uh, our bias is to be short CAD, uh, so looking for inflation to miss and looking for a uh, moderately neutral to dovish, uh, or really nothing. We're not really looking for anything at the BOC, to be fair. But there will be vol, right? I mean, um, I think unanimously, no one thinks they're going to change rates, but there's that little bullshit vol with every rate announcement. So you can't really go into it loaded, uh, loaded up. But our preference here is short CAD. Uh, we talked about CAD yen yesterday. Really nice setup. Below the 
this 96 level. We did sneak below it to 92, but failed. But technically now below this 96 today, if we sneak back down there, if we do get risk off again, this looks like it's really nice. Looks like it's turning up here at the highs. <clears throat> Left-hand side, CAD yen, something we will be watching and being patient with. We were short last night. We did stop out uh, here at 84.10. Um, but we are not uh, adverse to re retrying this position uh, if the news flow changes and if there is a weak inflation number out of Canada or if the BOC is dovish. So two levels to watch, 130.80 in dollar CAD, 83.96 in CAD yen. Let's have a look at uh, gold, not doing anything. Doji yesterday on all that news, up, down, up, down, bang, 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 opened where it closed. Now it's lower because stocks are higher. Um, the risk off seems to have passed. Keep in mind that the WHO has a meeting today at 12. They'll be deciding whether this is an international epidemic, this virus. Um, so look for um, look for some news out of Switzerland, which is where the WHO uh, is located, sometime in the afternoon in Switzerland. So that could be a risk off or a risk on trigger, depending on how the WHO um, views this whole thing. Euro down to seventy seven. Not much going on here. This line um, is going to be support first time. 110.70. Pretty muted euro. I mean, it it kind of got rejected at 111 uh, yesterday. So that's not great, but really nothing going on here. Nothing to see. Um, nine point range, so who gives a shit? Uh, but there will be support first time at 70, a bounce at 70 next time through. For those of you who like momentum, then it becomes a momentum trade. Let's look at Euro Swiss. Uh, this thing has been on its knees. On its knees. For a month now. month and a half, really. Um, let's not exaggerate. It's a 2.5% move, but still, you can just see. Red, 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 all these red bars. Um, a lot of tails on the top side. Uh, but it looks like, she looks like she's turning here, doesn't she? Um, if you look at the weeklies, you can see it a little bit better. There is a gap to fill, actually. I forget what this news was in, in, um, in May. Some sort of trade deal bullshit over a Sunday, over the weekend, something like that. But there is actually a gap to fill 106.80. So be careful. Um, you know, the safe, the real safe purchase in, in Euro Swiss is the gap fill 106.80. But I'm just mentioning it. We, we, we do not have a position in Euro Swiss. We, we're short Swiss yen and we're long dollar Swiss. But we don't have a Euro Swiss position, but boy, she looks like she wants to turn here, doesn't she? Um, if we drill down a bit, let's see, yesterday's daily high is 51. The day before was 50.1. Uh, I think that was, I guess, Monday. No, that was Friday, 57. Uh, and then Thursday last week, 59. Let's just say... I don't know. We have some room up to 80, let's just say. Uh, Euro Swiss looks sneaky bid. Dollar Swiss, uh, still just long. We talked about trading the range yesterday. Uh, looks like we're going to make new highs here. It's still just a range trade, and no one really knows um, what's going on with this. But uh, today, you can you can sell your longs up at that 97, 20, 30 area. You can buy, you can reload. Um, so if you sell up between 20 and 30, you buy back the figure. Um, if you want to reload on a low one, you want to wait for sort of 67, 67, 57. So don't trade middle, middle of the range here which is where we are. We're, we're basically, this is neutral. 96, 96 is neutral. 
wait for the edges, um, but core long dollar Swiss looks to be the way. Swiss yen, very similar chart, very similar position. Careful on your risk management here. Um, same deal. Looks like this sucker's turned. We have support at 112.60, but short Swiss yen looks um, looks tidy as well. Dollar yen, I I would have bet uh, bet the farm that. Um, Japan was going to take out this 70 level last night on some massive risk off bad Chinese news. This did not happen obviously. We're 11005. The magic 10970 has held. We are in the middle of nowhere here 11005 nothing to do. Um there will now be risk above um 11032 and this will now surprise a lot of people if we get up there. So there'll be some money to be made up around 32. Right now, we'd have no view in dollar yen. If you're bearish, you wait for a break of 70. If you're bullish and you've had patience and you bought through 70, you can just sit. Um, God bless you, right? Uh, if, you held, if you've held this for this consolidation period, which is actually very professional of you, um, you might be in good shape here. All depends on this virus, all depends on WHO, all depends on the news flow. Anyway, I've said enough today. CAD is the main focus, inflation and BOC. We're watching the news flow out of the WHO, the World Health Organization. Um, and, of course, we'll be watching uh, the bellwether, of course, S&Ps on their highs now. Uh, let's see how she goes the rest of the day. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.